I got the news that I have lost one of my acquaintances today. And uh, those news got me thinking about a lot of things. I've been meditating the life she lived before her death. The circumstances surrounding her death. And uh, just a lot about life in general. And while I was still on that, I was scrolling through my TikTok and came across a video of a lady. And she was uh, giving her story of what happened to her on 13th, which was Valentine's Day. And uh, it was so sad. She was uh, saying that on 13th, her boyfriend posted another lady. And she actually had the screenshot there and all the words that uh, were written there. Even the dumbest person on earth would actually see that this caption on that post was not just for a friend. It was someone that uh, the guy is in love with and someone that they have been together for a while. So she confronts the boyfriend and the boyfriend at first denies and he says no he's not dating that lady the lady is just a friend. The boyfriend denies and uh, when the lady insists and uh, asks him why he's trying to make a fool out of her he comes on to uh, to start some um, what is it called guilt tripping the lady playing reverse psychology on her trying to manipulate her asking her does she take her does she take him for a cheat and such things you know how manipulators act they don't want to own up to anything and instead they make start they start making it about them so that is what was happening to this lady and then she continues uh, pressing and pushing the guy and finally the guy tells her to her face that uh, he's actually tired of that relationship if she didn't know she should know and uh, that lady should just forget all about him, delete his phone number, delete their photos, never text her. And when the lady, uh, the lady does not believe it, she starts crying on the chat, sending crying emojis, and uh, now pleading the guy not to leave her. And uh, suddenly the, the guy stops responding, and then the lady realizes the guy has blocked her. Then she cried her, her eyes out. And then again, I, I scrolled and came to another post now of a Nigerian. And the lady uh, unblocks her ex after like a year. And then uh, I think she had, she has now healed at that point. And she texts that guy, her ex-boyfriend, and asks the, uh, the guy, can we play the um, Do You Remember Challenge? And the guy says yes. And then uh, he tries to call her babe. And then the lady tells her not to call her babe. And then the guy asks, why, you, why have you unblocked me if you don't want me to call babe? So the guy thinks this lady has unblocked her, has unblocked him because she wants them to resume their relationship. So the lady starts reminding that guy uh, about the bad things that the guy used to do to her, the way that guy will throw her out of the car and tell her to walk home just because he had said she had told him something that annoyed the guy. Then that girl will make her sleep outside the door any time that they will have an argument. And then one time uh, they were really in need of money and they were sick. And then uh, the lady had gone home and the, and the mother of the lady called the boyfriend. I think at that point they were married or something. It was not even a boyfriend because the parents were even communicating. And uh, that guy and that lady used to live together. So the mother calls and uh, ask that lady, ask the boyfriend to the lady if uh, he has any money that he can lend them because they are really in help. And because that guy and the lady were not in good terms, the guy tells the mother of the lady to ask their God because he doesn't have money to waste on them. And it was so sad, you see. And then um, I just uh, read those stories and I'm like, oh no, that was really sad. And then you go to the comments. There are people who are laughing about it and the others who took it very seriously. Some are giving uh, their encounters of the same. And then I scroll again and I come now to the a post of a guy. He saying that he started uh, an Uji business for his girlfriend. Uji is porridge. So, so he narrates of how he took a loan. And uh, went and bought a flask and uh, cups for this lady and a uh, sophoria to be cooking the uji, a jerrican 
to keep the uji warm. You see, he, he tells a lot. And then uh, he says, uh, one time that lady went to a, a, a rich guy's car in the name of selling uji, and that is how she went. The next time he tried calling her, she told that guy to forget about her, and that was it. So in the comments, the people who still laugh at him and tell him he should not be talking about uji stories, uji is not wealth and stuff. But you know, that is what that guy could afford at the time. And he went an extra mile of even taking the loan just to set up that business for her. And uh, it is still so unfortunate. So just thinking, I don't have a lot of subscribers right now. But I feel like the message, for the few subscribers and viewers that will watch this video, maybe you can share with your friends. Because this is, this is a topic that really affects a lot of people. Relationships are not easy. Relationships are hard. Marriage is hard. Uh, again, divorcing is hard. Being single is hard sometimes. So you just choose your struggle. But again, I was feeling like sometimes you're somewhere that you are not wanted. You know very well that you're not wanted. But you don't want to let go. You keep on suffering. The other person keeps on humiliating you. Whether it's your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your husband or your wife, they show you every other time that they do not want to be with you indirectly. Sometimes there are those who are even bold enough to vocalize that and they break the other person's heart with harsh words. But for most people, they are unable to be bold enough to just leave. Uh, because I was thinking... Uh, it is so unfortunate that someone can actually make you live under their mercy and you don't want to let go either because you're afraid of what the society will say or maybe that uh, guy is the breadwinner of your family or uh, you don't want the society to laugh at you that you started a business for a lady and then she left you and then you keep on being humiliated and frustrated and I think that's what even leads to violence and uh, when worse comes to worst, even people taking each other's lives in relationships. And uh, I was just feeling like uh, my, my dad once told me something. My dad does not always give advice a lot, but when he does tell you something, you look deeper into it. So one time he was telling my siblings and I, sometimes your life stagnates because you refuse to choose a path for yourself. Your life stagnates because you're st you yourself, you're stagnating. Your mind is stagnating. Your actions have stagnated. But you think you putting effort into other things outside your personal life is going to change that. No. Sometimes your life is even stagnating because of the person you are involved with. Your life is even stagnating. Because you're not being honest to yourself. So you have to choose a path for yourself and be bold enough to follow that path. L let it lead you where it will lead you. And uh, if you fail, then you can start again. If it works out, then good for you. You have nothing to lose. That is what he was telling us. And I feel like that is true. Like that lady, after separating with that guy, that lady was uh, playing the Will you, Do You Remember Challenge? That guy used to beat her. That guy even used to insult her parents just because they were poor and he had money. So that lady, after breaking up with the guy, she decided to block him. And uh, after a year is when she was able to unblock him and even have a conversation with him. And I remember my mom telling me, I was once telling her about a friend of mine who keeps on being humiliated mistreated by the, the husband but she doesn't want to let go and uh, my mom was telling me for women it's so difficult to let go women want to try until their last breath at least a majority of the women of course there are those who can't one thing and they are gone but for a majority they try to persevere and hope that there will be a change and she was telling me that for a person for a lady or a uh, a woman to leave their relationship, it is upon them to decide. No one can ever really make them leave. She was telling me that uh, a lady decides. And on the day that she decides to leave or let go, no one tells her. 
it can actually be on a day that uh, the the two her and her partner have not even fought or quarreled, but on that day her she reached her saturation point. She just woke up and accepted that it's finally over because all along she was probably living in denial. And uh, for pe- for people, for different people, it happens differently. There are those which will just be a matter of uh, days, others weeks. For some, it might actually take years or a lifetime to ever let go, which is um, very unfortunate. People u- are usually in denial. Even for men, there are men who know very well that this lady is not their person. They cannot be with them forever. It is draining them but they still hold on to hope or to the fact that they think if they let go, the society is going to judge them harshly or they'll uh, appear to be failures or something like that. And uh, it is so sad, considering that we only live once. This life is short. As much as uh, we say relationships are difficult and uh, marriage is not always a bed of process and we should uh, work to ensure that we keep it together, there are some extents that are, are really unacceptable. Because how can you live with a person and yet you fight physically every single day? What if you kill each other? What if you hurt each other? You see, those are some wounds that you open that will never be healed. So I was just thinking, there are some things that you can tolerate, some things that you can really work out, some things that you can pray about, but where there are others that you cannot... And uh, you always know when someone is not your person. I don't know if some of you know that, but I always just feel like you always know, like if you've been in a relationship before a current or like if you've not been only in one relationship in your life, think about what made you separate with your ex. Did you just wake up and decide it is over? Or did you start feeling that long before the breakup? So... Things happen, and this life is short, so we just try to be happy. But again, if it is something that you can work out, you do work out. But if it involves a lot of violence, I usually say nothing is uh, worth your life. Nothing is worth you fighting with a person every day of their life, you being unhappy, you just sulking. I mean, there are good things to life. We need to be enjoying life, making memories, not fighting, hurting each other. So I was thinking about my acquaintance who just passed away. And um, I was just imagining. So imagine if you lived uh, in an abusive relationship all your life and then you die unhappy. All your days you're just sad, sulking, fighting, even afraid for your own life. And then... One day you just not alive or you fall sick and that sickness uh, makes you bedridden and then finally you die. That will be such an unfortunate thing. I mean, everyone deserves a chance to be happy because we, never, we ne- uh, really never know when when our death, uh, when we shall meet our death. So for those who are happy at the time of their death, they are those who have accomplished all they needed to, they have created memories, and they are happy. But what about those who were sad in their lifetime? It is usually so unfortunate. And I'm thinking, you're there struggling in that relationship, holding on to something that you know is not working out. And uh, you know, as much as you might never tell anyone, people see it written on your face. Like for those comments that I was reading on those posts, their close family or friends or workmates will come there and comment, we actually saw, we actually felt it, you actually looked dull. You see, people see it. And you know, even for those who don't care much about you, the thoughts cross their mind. So imagine those that really care about you, like your parents, your siblings, you make them so unhappy. And your death being sad forever makes them even more heartbroken. So I usually say, Love someone else, but love yourself just a little more than you love anybody else. Because at the end of the day, it's you, it's your life. And I hope we have healthy relationships. That is usually my prayer to everyone. 
you have healthy relationships and uh, even in the face of disagreements and arguments may we always have peaceful resolution methods may we always respect each other in arguments may we be happy and live happily and even in the time of tribulations may we always hold on to each other and, and uh, trust that uh, we will all be able to overcome those tribulations as one unit this is for those people in relationships or marriages and even those who are still single and have not found their person yet i hope you do find the right person and uh, that everything works out for you eventually everyone deserves to be happy that's just what i was saying <laughs> i didn't mean this is not a sad post this is just a post that as i was showering and then preparing to go to bed and uh, even through supper through the evening since i got the news i was just thinking about a lot of things this life is really too short to be unhappy and uh, to be broken let's enjoy our days here on earth this post might not reach a lot of people but for the few that it will reach please carry the message we all need to be happy we, are, we all need to be happy i'll say that again and again so that's just it i'm even lost for words uh before i started recording this video of this voiceover i had a lot in mind a lot that i was saying to myself and a lot that uh, even as i was shooting this video just to do the voiceover i just put the camera there and i was just doing my things preparing my day tomorrow like you have seen prepare for bed then i take my notebook write about tomorrow make plans and then go to sleep and as i was doing all that i just put a camera there i was not thinking about a lot of things but in my heart i had a lot to th feel and then in my mind i had a lot to think about i thought i'll say a lot of things but those are just the words that came out i hope they touch a life <laughs> If you are in a toxic relationship and you just know it's not working, I hope you find the courage to let go. And if your relationship is struggling, but uh, it is something that you can work out, I really hope you do work out. And I hope we all live happily. And when it is our time to leave this earth, I hope we all live peacefully and happily. So that is all for today. I hope you like this video. Share the link with your friends. Uh, kindly consider subscribing if you haven't. And leave me a comment in the comment section. I'll see you again in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.